Welcome to If It Flies TV, a celebration of the wing shooting lifestyle. I'm Marty Fisher, and this week we've got a great show. We're going to be hunting quail in Southern North Carolina at the Webb Farm near Ellerby. This is Bill Webb. Bill's the owner of the Webb Farm. And Bill, tell me a little bit about what we're going to do. You know, we're, we're here midday. What have we got in store? Well, we're gonna have a great day ahead of us here, Marty. We've got We've got uh, a great afternoon ahead of us. At about two o'clock, we'll head out and hunt birds till about five. We got just about perfect weather. Clear, pretty clear day. Gonna be cool and dropping in temperature this afternoon. I anticipate a really good hunt. Before we head out though, I understand from my, my wife Debbie that the chef has got some quail prepared for the afternoon lunch. So anybody that comes in at lunchtime gets a good meal before they go out. So I'm kind of excited about that myself. Well, Let's make help. no mistake, I absolutely love quail. And during your show, as I say, this is the celebration of the wing shooting lifestyle. And what better way to celebrate than to do it with friends. We're also going to be hunting with some great friends that I've had for many, many years who live in this area. But right now, Bill, I'm ready to go get some quail, and then it's time to go shoot some birds. Sounds good to me. Let's okay, do it, Okay, my Marty. friend, let's go. Well, we just finished a marvelous lunch, and we're going on an afternoon hunt, and the weather couldn't be better. As you can see, there are other hunters here at the lodge. We're not gonna be anywhere close to those guys. They're gonna be out in another part of the property, but the afternoon hunts are really just for fun. The early morning hunts, you're really, really serious. After you have that big lunch, we're gonna go out, we're gonna be serious. I can promise you these guys are going to be, but as soon as our wagon gets here, we'll be out walking up on pointed dogs. Well, this could get wild and crazy. <clears throat> Birds all in this thick stuff right here. Shot windows going here. One bird. Good shot, Marty. One barrel left. Now I'm out of bullets. The man's death on him. <laughs> now I'm out of bullets. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Here, Bella. His reputation precedes him. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. Yep. He's death on them. You couldn't afford too many Marty Fishers to come through here in a week, I'll tell you that. Bella, here, Bella. Bella, here. My agent speaking. <laughs> now, if you notice, we have multiple birds getting up there. The, <clears throat> the real key here, I had, some, I had some shots that came by that I probably could have taken, but, you know, I had dogs right here. I had a tree right here, and I just elected not to, not to shoot the shot that came by this way. Fortunately, a couple of birds went out in that direction and I was able to get them, but uh, you gotta really be careful, especially when you're in a wooded area. You know, one thing you don't wanna do is you don't wanna center a tree because believe it or not, you can get some bounce back on pellets and things like that, but of course, that's why you see me with shooting glasses on all the time. You will never see me hunting without glasses on. I can promise you that. But uh, that was fun. We picked up a few birds. Sun's still high in the sky. We'll go see if we can get some for Bill. Yeah, we gotta find a covey. Marty, I believe they'll be in that wire grass to yeah, our right, what right seeing. there. They're gonna be in there somewhere. Good shot. I don't know if we shot the same one, but I shot that one, Ed, that one, and you shot him, that one too? Oh, Oops. me! <laughs> ah, good shot, Bill. Thank you. I just shot that one. I shot at that one. That's the only one I shot at. 
Good shot. That was fun. Oh yeah, that's a great fun. Good gosh, how many are there in there? This portion of If It Flies is brought to you by Briley, a legacy of shooting innovation. We've got a point and I don't know that we captured that point, but both of these dogs were running along here and they just slammed on brakes. So there's something going on right here. And this is a really pretty setup, I'll tell you that. Got a nice little clump of woods and all here. And real nice, beautiful pines and hardwoods. Time to go to work. Oh, there we go again. <laughs> That's nice. Woo! That's nice. I got this one on the second shot. I got I got lucky and got two. That's great. They all wanted to go your way, Bill. Well, I'm gonna tell you what, that was that was really fun. You know, you if I I've hunted a lot of places, Bill, and I and I I look at what you've done here. This is quail habitat, my friend. It's kind of the Sand Hills of North Carolina version of what you'd see at an old homestead in the Montana plain. Yeah, you know? it, it does look a lot like yeah, that. It really it's does. About the same thing. On this week's You Make the Shot, I want to introduce you to this segment that we're going to be doing in every episode. You know, I've been doing outdoor television for more than a quarter of a century. I've been a shooting instructor for about 35 years, and I've seen a, a lot of problems that are easily fixable if you just let the shooters know what the problem is and how to fix it. So that's what we're going to do. Each week, you make the shot, we're going to be using multiple Lincoln traps. They're going to position the targets to mimic the birds that we're going to be shooting in each one of the shows. You watch this and I promise you, we're going to be able to give you some information that you can use to make you a better shot. You make the shot brought to you by Lincoln Traps. This is pretty. This could be special. Good gosh. Well, I told you it could be special. Man, that was a good cubby rise. That was. That was nice. Nice, nice. Good gosh, they're still coming up. That was almost so many, I didn't know what to shoot it. I shouldn't even have shot at that one when I figured I'd try. Needed my tire choke. Good shot. Pressure was on on that one. As one of my friends says, that's a gaggle of birds. Boy, it was. You know, it's really amazing when you're out hunting on a big piece of property of, of what you might stumble on. I mean, we've, we're out hunting quail today and all of a sudden we come up on some houses or what used to be someone's house. And of course, there's a lot of history in this, in this farm. Bill, tell me a little bit about what we're looking at here and, and the history of, of people that lived here. Well, you know, but my granddad started this farm back in 1906. And by the time he had worked the size of it up and the production on it into the 40s, there were 13 different tenant houses on this farm. Each just like this, um, people living here, growing their tobacco, and the place was alive. And one of the things I really am proud of as, a, as an owner is that most of these people went on to buy their own farms after they farmed here for several years as a tenant farmer. That system 
really worked great. It kept the land worked. It kept the land burned. And then after the tenant farming system went out in the south, <clears throat> you start seeing things grow up more, uh, not as much feed for the wildlife and everything. And that's when the, the landowners had to step in and start really doing more wildlife management. Tenant farming was a great tool, especially for Bob White Whale. Getting ready to get excited. Good shot, Bill. I got one over here. I got I had one shot, got one. Well it always takes me two to get one, but I feel the bird got up behind you, Ronnie. What a great day, my friend. I'm gonna tell you something. That was fabulous. I really enjoyed that. That is my pleasure. Thank you so we, much. We, We've got more to do, Jay. Yes, sir. Great job, buddy. Really Thank you so it. much. I, and by the way. Thank you for bringing me up close to this fire pit. <laughs> yes, sir. It's a little cool here in, in North Carolina. Uh, they say it's actually going down to about 35 tonight, which, to be honest with you, is going to be perfect for bird hunting. But what a great afternoon we had. And there's a lot more quail hunting to come from the Webb Farm in Ellaby, North Carolina. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages. This portion of If It Flies is brought to you by ESP electronic shooters protection. It's an early morning here at the Webb Farm in Ellaby, North Carolina. It's a little bit cold. I've actually got on an extra layer this morning. And as you can see, we've got more than just me and Bill here hunting today. I've actually invited two of my really good friends who live here in the North Carolina region uh, where Webb Farm is. This is North Carolina State Senator Tom McInnes, who I've known since the 1970s, and John Wiles, who owns Best Wing Shooting, who has literally sent me around the world chasing all sorts of things with feathers. And these two guys are great friends and there's nothing better than having great friends on a great place with lots of birds. Gentlemen, time to go to work. You ready? Yes, sir. Let's get it done. All right, we've got dogs on point. Yep. Good chance to walk this breakfast off. Sure is, I'll take the left. All right, I got the right. Uh, that's a pretty picture right there. Now these birds will go. <coughs> these birds will go into the woods. I can tell you that. And Marty, it's going to be a pretty quick shot because okay. they hit the woods pretty quick here. All right. Everyone ready? Ready. Yep. One out of two. All right. One out of two. I'll take it. Good shot, Marty. Those birds moved on out pretty good. They're pointed right down there, both of them. You can yeah. see them. That there's a good point right there. Right there. Yeah. Let's go get those birds. Okay. Sack, Bella. Sack. One out of two. Got two. I got one. <sighs> Can't get loaded quick enough. I know. Too slow. I'm too slow. Now see, if we had been hunting too fast, pushing too hard. Yeah, we'd, we'd have gone, gone right by them. Mm -hmm, sure. Gotta give the dogs time to work when they're really acting a little birdie like that. 
patience. It takes patience. And so many people, when they bird hunt, just don't seem to have that patience. I think you and I shot the same one on that second barrel. Yeah, the high one? Yep. Yeah. Did you get one on the first one? I, I shot got one on the first one. I did too. I shot one down here. Marty, they all went out my side that time. <laughs> I was just shooting the straightaways. And you I was shooting the far right away. side. They were all straightaways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they well, went down the power line, which was nice. Yeah, that was good. Good shot, John. <laughs> Nicely done. This portion of If It Flies is brought to you by Negrini Gun Cases. Simply the best. Well, here's an opportunity. I'm on the Great ground with my good friend, Tom McInnes. You know, Tom, you're not much of a deer hunter, you're not much of a duck hunter, but you love bird hunting. If it doesn't have a wing on it, I don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> well, these have wings. Tell you what, you get on the left, I'm gonna swing around here. Probably want to see if we can push that straight in. We shot the same bird. <laughs> did we? Well, I only had that was oh, only no, shot. They all the went same. your way. Except for them. Well, you know, you are shooting that little 410 popper. So I figured I might better give you some 20 gauge help. Well, that was pretty good, Tom. You know, all those birds went your way. Yep. You know, because the rule of thumb in quail hunting and any kind of upland bird hunting is 12 o'clock to the right, 12 o'clock to the left. I did kind of ease over that way and help you a little bit. <laughs> Good that shot. Was, that was a great shot and a great <laughs> covey rise in a beautiful place here this morning. This is a beautiful place. All right. Closed captioning provided by Clark's Plot Nutrients. Look at my boy go. What are you talking about? That's good shooting, buddy. Well, I tell you what, a blind hog will find an acre and every now and then. Well, that blind hog had to have at least one eye open. That's nicely done. Thank you, sir. I didn't have a shot. Every bird that came up by me went, went behind me. Look at that boy go. Hey. I need some knuckles there, man. Wasn't shooting, bad man. for old, old plow boys there. Well, especially one that I know is not getting to hunt very much anymore. <laughs> now, now that he's a member of the North Carolina legislature, you don't have a lot of time to hunt. Uh, they got us down on short rations and uh, <laughs> light, light <laughs> rations and long hours and low pay, Marty. But, uh, you know, it's very satisfying work when we help the people of North Carolina. Well, all good things have to come to an end. and. Well, we're at the end of a great wing shooting experience. Many thanks to Bill and Debbie Webb here at the Webb Farm in Ellaby, North Carolina. What a quality place this is. The staff, the dogs, the hunting, everything about it. The food was just wonderful. And of course, I've got to thank Tom McInnes and John Wiles for coming to hunt with me. You know, those guys are great friends and I really enjoyed having them. And thank you for allowing us into your home to share this experience. You know, the mantra of the If It Flies series is very, very simple. There's more to hunting than pulling a trigger, and I think we showcased that this week. Be sure to check us out on the web at ifitfliestv.com or on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifitfliestv.